welcome to my first ever crochet video so please excuse the terrible quality I'm going to show you how I joined on the last hexagon hexagon number 16 in Sue Pinner's carousel crochet along so I've started at the top of my shaped hexagon following the instructions and I'm up to the first corner which is where the first join is the fundamentals of join as you go are that you replace chain stitches in the corners with slip stitches into an adjacent square. So here I'm only joining in one into one place so I'll do one chain and then I'll do one slip stitch into the first corner that I need to join to on the next hexagon and then double crochet into the same corner space to finish that corner and then slip stitch into the first double crochet of the next hexagon. So you continue with that pattern, double crochet, slip stitch, until you get to the next corner. Okay. Now you might think at this point that it looks like you've got more stitches on your existing hexagon than you do on this one. And that's true because don't forget you still need to do your double crochet into the corners so we'll do the first double crochet into this corner slip stitch into the last double crochet of the existing square now because we're joining in two places we're joining here and here we're going to do a slip stitch in the first corner and then a slip stitch in the second corner no chains in this one because we're replacing both chains with slip stitches and then you DC into the same space again to make your corner and then start along the edge of the pentagon on the previous round and we're doing the same thing DC slip stitch DC slip stitch all the way to the next corner okay we're coming up the, to the next corner and we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did last time so slip stitch into the last DC and that matches up with the second last DC of the pentagon DC into the corner, slip stitch into the last one. Now we're joining in two places again, so you slip stitch into one and slip stitch into the next one. And then don't forget you need to go back and finish off the corner of your hexagon. And then we pick up doing the same thing around the next round. When you get back around to the final corner, you again you're only joining in one place, so you do the slip stitch first. And then you do a chain stitch because you still need to have two chains to get around the corner and then to finish it off. And that's how I join my hexagons.